It's always chaos and confusion over here. Oh, see? Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair in my favorite hair tools. And guess what? It is... Girl, I don't know what day it is. I'm still discombobulated because... Girl, I just fell right into this tree and cracked my trash can and hit my chin on the credenza. And you know how you get up and you're like embarrassed because you're by yourself? <laughs> I just look like a tumbleweed stuck in that tree. It was embarrassing. I was embarrassed. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So today, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to talk about all of the products that I used in 2020, 2021 that I'm going to bring into 2022. They're 2022 must-haves, 2021 favorites, all the wig products that I use. And y'all know, I just be, I throw on wigs all the time. I be sitting in my house just with a wig on. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to be just lost with a wig. We gonna be here for a minute because there's a lot of stuff. So grab you a beverage, a beverage of your choice. Right now I'm having tea. I don't need nobody's wine right now because I can't even be upright. Y'all take a sip with me. Take a sip of your drink. Let me know what you're drinking down below. Oh, before I get into it, um, I know some of y'all are gonna ask, but this wig is from Atina Hair. I think I've had it for about a year and a half and it did come in a natural black and I actually colored it myself to this beautiful like gingery color just using um a bleach and a developer that i'll be talking about in this video so all of these products are products that i continuously used on my wigs and a couple of them are like brand new products that i just rediscovered so we got a lot of good stuff here let me cover up this lace well, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to do this in categories to make it easy. I will leave timestamps or what they call chapters here on YouTube, but I'll leave timestamps down below so you can navigate and figure out what you need. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to start off with our wig customization we must have. So these are the products that I use to customize the wig. So this is when you pull the wig out of the box and you're just trying to tweak her before you style her. So when we pull this wig out of the box, what's the first thing I do? I'm going to bleach those knots. So there are a couple of products that I use to bleach my knots. So first I start with a bleach. I have a tried and true bleaching powder. This is the bleach I go for. This is the bleach that I look for. This is the L'Oreal Quick Blue Powder Bleach. I love this because it, it's a powder bleach that's really creamy. I do not like dry clumpy bleach and sometimes it can get dry and clumpy i like really really smooth bleach and this is a powder bleach and i get it in the big container but you can also get it in a smaller container this one's $19.99 but you could do multiple wigs and most people if you're not a wig influencer or something like that you're not gonna be bleaching wigs once a week you can get it in a smaller package but this is the powder this lasts for a long time it's really really creamy and because it's like a bluish tint it doesn't make your roots really really brassy and i love that now some people do like brassy roots because it makes makes it look a little bit more golden up top which kind of lends itself to like a brownish skin tone but i don't like that i don't like that brassy look and if you over bleach it it just looks orange i don't like that i don't like going that far so i love using this stuff i think it's great uh it's smooth it works great it's tried and true and it's affordable especially if you get it in the smaller package now i just found a new one like maybe two months ago um, a month ago, but I just used this, I think, the day before yesterday. I used the Clairol Shimmer Lights Plex Lightener. Now, this one, this baby right here, it's much smaller as compared to this. I get these from my local beauty supply store, but I think you can also get these on Amazon. This one is obviously more expensive, but I can tell why. It's very, very creamy. And the way that it bleaches knots, it's hard to explain, but it's really effective. I don't know how to describe it. I love this stuff. This is probably gonna be my second fave because girl, I bleach a lot of knots and I'm not trying to pay too much money for these, but I do like it. I do like this product, really, really creamy, just the bomb. 
Of course, when you're using your powder lightener, you have to mix it in with a developer. Now, this developer I've been using for years. I don't, I don't deviate from the Clairol developer. This is the Clairol Pure White Cream Developer. Love this stuff. I usually use 40 volume for bleaching my knots, but if I'm coloring hair, I'll use a 30 volume developer or lower, depending on how light I want the hair or how much lighter I want to make the hair. So I keep 30 volume developer and 40 volume developer in my wig closet. I'm not playing no games and I only use clear all. They have off brands, but I noticed that the off brand developer just don't be doing it, but it don't give what it's supposed to get. Okay, it don't. It just don't be doing what it's supposed to do. And I don't like wasting my money or my time, so I stick with the Clairol. It's tried and true. $3.99 for my local beauty supply store. Not sure how much it is on Amazon, but you can get it on Amazon as well. I think these two work together because they're both from the same brand, Clairol. When you have them paired together, the technology is made to work together. And that's why these two work really, really well. But I'm going to stick with Clairol. And I find that if I use it with that powder developer, it's bomb. Like it works well together. I talked about this last year, but I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory, but not really. But this is a mixing bowl. I love using, a, oh girl, I need to clean this. I just used it the other day. There's powder on it. Oops. This is a mixing bowl. I've been using the same one for years. You only need to buy one and keep up with it, girl. Just don't lose it. I also like to use a plastic spoon. I keep plastic spoons because when I bleach my knots, I mix my powder bleach and my liquid developer in here and then I apply it onto the lace with a spoon. I leave it open like a soup bowl, like a Panera bread bowl, and I just spread it around the sides. This thing has made bleaching not so much easier. It's less likely that the bleach bleeds through. And when you're using a creamy product, it's so much easier to spread. Girls like butter, like warm butter. It is, if you try it, please let me know how much you like it because I feel like that's the method of the year. Am I ashy? Oh, and this is just like an honorable mention. This is not just, it's not a favorite. If you are bleaching your knots or anything, or you're doing, um, you're using any chemicals, you get some gloves, girl. I'm talking into my mic, get some gloves. I mean, usually I'm trifling. I won't put any gloves on when I'm bleaching my knots. And then I remember once the solution gets on my hand, that I can get a chemical burn and I've gotten a chemical burn before and it turns your skin white. I don't want that to happen to you. Now I do like these red by Kiss gloves. I got these from my local beauty supply store. These are latex gloves and they're powder. These are made for hairstylists or people that do hair. That's what it's for. And also it's smartphone touchable. So if I'm in the middle of bleaching knots or something like that and I need to answer my phone, like I can, I can still do that using these. I love these. I get them in size small because I have tiny hands. Typically though, my press on nails, they just punch through the end. Like they're really, really sharp. So they do be punching through the end, but girl, well, I don't, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, like I, I'm not going to stop wearing press ons. So, so if you are not a person that knows how to bleach knots, you're scared of bleaching your knots. You don't know what to do with bleaching your knots. I think not bleaching is a super important step to making your wig look realistic, but you ain't got to do that sis. You don't have to because guess what they got another product out there perfect line swiss lace grid lace wig grids filler and knot eraser y'all have seen me use this before it is bomb i bought this um off of instagram um and it's a black owned brand so shout out to her and it's basically like a wax like a wax product that you place onto your lace grids and it covers up those little tiny little knots where your your hair is tied to the lace and it also creates like this skin like sort of finish great product so if you're not a person that bleaches knots they got a solution out there for you girl and sometimes i use it if i don't feel like going through bleaching the knots washing the hair blah 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 this is a really good alternative you can get it off amazon but i bought mine from Instagram and I'm so happy I have it. It's like a clutch product. So I'm in the color Mish. The shades look dark in the tube but will apply one to two shades lighter. So get you some if you're a person that doesn't like to bleach your knots or you don't know how to or you know you're gonna be a person in a rush. So after I bleach my knots, of course you have to wash the wigs. I love using the Smooth and Sleek line from Pantene Pro V. My husband actually uses this on his hair and I started using it on my wigs, stealing his stuff. You know how we do. Well, and I find that it makes my 
wigs really smooth it does a great job with my curly wigs it does a great job with my straight wigs it's affordable and i usually get the really really big pump bottles like this but i keep these on lock just for my wigs it's affordable it feels good it looks good and you're not spending too much money after we talked about wig washing let's go ahead and talk about wig drying so there's a couple ways to dry your wigs so you can dry them like manually dry them with like a wig dryer or hair dryer or you can hang dry them i used to be a hang dry girl but i'm more of a wig dryer like a wig hair dryer person and i'll show you that device in a second but if you're a hang dryer like most people are these wig hangers yes ma'am they come in clutch so this is what it looks like it's a wig hanger that i got off amazon i think they came in a set of two or three can't remember but i'll leave a link for them down below but this is what the wig hanger looks like but i hang it on the shower rod and i put the wig on and i just put a towel underneath so it doesn't get all over my floor and stuff this is made like a head so you it dries the way you want to wear it i have an example right here see that's how it sits and it dries it also allows for ventilation because it's on this little cap thing so the air can get through and it can dry effectively i love this i'm so happy that i purchased them now if i'm in a rush i have another product so for my last minute procrastinating girlies like me that have anxiety and have problems planning i have this product she looks a little creepy y'all have seen her if you watch my videos you've seen her in the background if you've seen her in the vlogs you've seen her this thing right here this thing right here this is a wig drying head as you can see she's got a big old mouth and she has all these holes in her head and basically you place your wig on top and take a blow dryer i'll talk about this blow dryer later but you take a blow dryer you stick it in the hole and then you turn it on cool don't blow dry on hot because you'll melt this wig head but you'll turn it on i turn it on high and cool and my wig dries depending on the length in about an hour and a half versus like eight or nine hours overnight it depends on the density the type of hair all that type of stuff but usually on average it's about an hour and a half to two hours and it's just using cool air this is an old ikea lamp stand i place it on the old ikea lamp stand and i just sit the wig on top blow dry and she's done she's done so this thing also comes with these clips and like another little contraption but this clips your wig down onto the wig head so it doesn't just slide off so you can it comes with this so you don't have to worry about your wig slipping and sliding around you just clip your wig on like this and then you tighten the little band underneath and that's it it stays on it dries and you don't have nothing to worry about i love 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 that thing so i'll leave a link for it down below that is an amazon product i don't know where else you can purchase it but i got mine from amazon this is a lot of necklaces it's giving mr t what's going on this is chaos chaos and confusion after our wig is dry after our wig is dry y'all know we like to customize so this is the eyebrow kit but these are all the products this thing coming there but these are all the products that you get in your eyebrow kit you get like this little spoolie brow brush situation some scissors a razor and you also get tweezers i found that whatever you use on your eyebrows you can use on customizing your lace you see so you can use the tweezers to pluck it this little spoolie slash angle brush you can use the angle brush for getting into that part with the concealer you can use this for baby hairs if you don't have a baby hair brush you can use the scissors for cutting your lace and you can use the razor for cutting your lace as well but i find that an eyebrow kit is almost exactly like a wig customization kit it's the same thing two sides of the same coin it's like a wig hack love it so after i customize and pluck my lace i have to tint my lace i don't know what these wig companies be doing but a lot of them like the lace is like the color of this like what what i'm gonna do with that what you think i'm gonna do with that it's giving halo it's giving glory okay if you don't know i have been on the hunt for a lace tint spray megan the stallion's hairstylist came out with a lace tint i literally ran okay like it was like 
Thanksgiving Day sale. Okay, so I got two of his lace tint sprays and these are called the Flawless Illusion by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray. I have the medium brown and the dark brown, both of them, and they are fantastic. Now this one, um, the medium brown is the one I use all the time. When I tell you it has my skin tone on lock, it has my skin tone on lock. The only thing I notice about these lace tints is that it's messy when you spray it. It's messy, it goes all over the place. Like it gets under my press on nails, it gets on the, girl, it's everywhere. Y'all let me know if y'all have other ones that are really, really good, but I definitely love these. One thing I will say is apply this after you apply mousse to your hairline if you're using any sort of mousse or anything because the lace tint, it's not waterproof. Like it, it still kind of bleeds if you put water on it, but after it sets and it's on your head, it stays, so. But I love this lace tint spray. Let's go ahead and move to wig heads. Ooh. So y'all know I had um, my wig hair for a long, long, long time. And then one of my homegirls, like, I posted a wig on my old wig head, which I still have. One of my homegirls hit me up and said, not that wig head. Girl, get a new wig head. And I said, you are right. <laughs> you are right. This wig head came from Amazon. And I searched high and low for like a, like a brownish one. I wanted like something that's closer to like a brownish skin tone. I mean, and I like ones that don't look like they're gonna get super dirty because the lighter ones, they get dirty and they look real icky to me. I just got real bougie real fast. I did think I like the, the color of this one better. And I mean, it's a solid wig head. The construction of it isn't any different, but it's just a color. I love the color of it. I also purchased some T-pins. Now I used to use like the sewing T-pins, but they're much smaller and they don't hold as well. So I ordered these T-pins off of Amazon. So I'll leave a link for them down below, but get you some T-pins. Oh, if you don't know what T-pins are. T-pins are basically the little pins that you stick into your styrofoam wig head to keep your wig from moving. Ooh, I need to quit drooling. Oh, if you get a wig head, you need T-pins or something to keep your wig from slipping and sliding around your wig head. Okay, so I have my wig head and I also have, I'm gonna have to, I also have this wig stand. So my wig head goes on top of this wig stand, but the wig stand came with this little, like this little art tool thing. It looks like an art tool thing, but it's a wig stand that's adjustable and you also can move the wig head around on here, but you also can put all of your wig tools in there. So usually my blow dryer will go here. I have my scissors, tweezers. I took everything out because I'm talking about it right now. All of my tools can go in one place. So if I'm styling a wig, I don't have to be like, where's my, even though I do that anyway, because I'm chaotic. Everything is all in one place. We love that for us. Isn't that fantastic? Let me put my wig head on top so y'all can see what the whole system look like. It's always chaos and confusion over here. Oh, see, oh, look at that. I was so happy when I got this. And I keep the girly right here. Let's go ahead and move over into our wig application products. So after we customize our wig, right? Raise your hand if you lazy like me. I keep a wig grip on hand. The girls know the wig grip. This is my best friend. If I marry my wig, this will be the maid of honor. Like this is the support. Y'all know I have been rocking with the GEX Worldwide Wig Grip Band forever. It basically was the start of my channel, girl. This wig grip band is super affordable. I got it off of Amazon. And actually Amber Nevea, Amber Nevea used to wear wig grip. She mentioned it a long time ago. I forgot her name now, it's Amber something. She mentioned this and I have been obsessed. Now the GEX Worldwide Wig Grip Band is the best wig grip band on the market. And I love how long the Velcro strip is at the back because it fits to the size of your head. Love it, love it, love it. The only thing is I wish they had more colors. So this is what I use as my base. I don't do the ball cap method. I just use my wig grip band. I pull the ball cap over it or the wig cap over it. And basically it keeps the wig cap on without it slipping and sliding. And if you have flat back of the head syndrome like me, <laughs> I need something to keep my wig cap on. I just can't put a wig cap on and expect it to stay. So once I do this combination, it feels secure, but it's not stuck to my head using the ball cap method. If you can do the ball cap method, God bless you, girl. I'm so happy for you. That ain't my reality, that ain't my truth. So this two, these two, this combo is tried and true 
forever I will be using it until somebody else comes up with something better. And that somebody else gonna have to be me. One of my favorite products, if I'm just using a spray, is the Wig Dealer Melting Spray. Ooh, we love her. Black owned brand, love this Wig Dealer Melting Spray. It comes in a travel size, so you can use this for traveling, but basically it's just a spray. You spray it on, put it on your head, boom, bow. Apply the wig, it looks good, it sticks well, it stays forever. Not forever, but it'll stay for like 24 to 48 hours. And it's not like hard to apply or hard to use. Love this stuff and good for travel. I'm so happy that she came out with a travel size because a lot of times you gotta go buy got to be glued spray or whatever in the location that you're from instead you can just bring it in a travel size and it's and it's perfect now if i'm doing like an actual like wig application at home i just found this combo and i'm i'm in love i just used it last week girl these three these three baby now i bought these a long time ago especially this i've had this for over a year look how much i've used i've had this for over a year i've used a lot of this and i bought this a few months ago but i used to just use my spray so first let's start off with the spray the ors olive oil super hole wig grip spray if i use this alone it does a great job it works just like got to be it works similar to my wig dealer spray i love it it's really really good but I just found out and I just did this today. You combine this olive oil fix it grip gel ultra hold. I place this on my forehead first, let that dry, let it get tacky, apply the wig and then I spray the wig grip spray over top onto the lace. So it melts the lace so much better. It is just, it stays, it doesn't feel like it's really secure, but it doesn't feel like like cakey or anything it feels like secure i love this combination like i'm obsessed with these two together and the wig only lifted when i wash my face like i try to get close to my lace because i'm not trying to break out but when the wig would start lifting or the lace would start lifting in the front this is what i use bam okay they also have another product this is the ors olive oil fix it liquid fix spritz gel i'm not even sure if this is still on the market because i bought this a long time ago to try out but once the wig starts to lift a little bit instead of using this i'll use this and the reason why i love this is because it's not as runny and it is a spritz gel so it's a perfect combination between a gel and a spray and what i do is you take this off and then i literally will go onto my lace and wherever it's lifting i just squeeze it and a little bit comes out i rub it in it reapplies it no problem it gets a little bit runny but once you rub it in and it dries it melts it right back into the skin it can get shiny and if you touch it too early it'll get crusty but let her sit and melt it girl i'm in love i'm so happy that i had this and i was like where have i been like where what was i doing to not be using this i wish they i wonder if they had these in a the travel size because if they did these would go on vacation with me i don't care it's going on vacation i'm in love I had this stuff for a long time i tried this at first and i was like uh what is this but i was using it wrong read the directions girl you don't know everything read the direction next we're gonna talk about baby hairs i know the girls like to use mousse on baby hairs since i am not a like a glue girl i don't use glue i use gel using mousse lifts the lace so i have to use a gel to make the lace more secure so the gel that I like to use now is, we're gonna go back to the ORS. I like to use this now, but I also like, ooh, this thing is dirty. But I like to use the Got To Be Ultra Glue Styling Gel. I like to use this for baby hairs. The reason why I like it is because it keeps the baby hairs in place, but it also keeps the wig secure. So when I use a gel, it helps to, it helps with the secureness of the wig. If my lace start to lift a little bit, at least I got the baby hairs. The little anchors that just hold the wig in place. I don't know why I did this. This is a lot. So I love using a gel. I'm starting to love this a little bit more than this. But we love our got to be glued. Invincible gel, not the one in the yellow. The yellow, okay, it's too much. It's just too much. I like the clear one. So in order to set my wig, of course, I love to use, I, I know a lot of people are using that elastic um, band thing. I like to use these, keep them in my drawer too. Ooh. 
wrap it strips. Y'all have seen these before in your local salons, girl. When you get a short haircut, they wrap your hair up. But I love using this on the hairline. Lay it down. Boom, girl. It melts the hairline really, really well, and you can toss these out. I love using these. I keep a whole bunch of them in my drawer, and they're only like $2 a pop. Um, I'm throwing away a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sorry, environment, but this is what we're using right now. This is where we are. I'm trying to lay down some artificial baby hairs because this lace is lacing. Okay, I know y'all see it. Don't talk about me. Baby hair brushes. Ooh, I get so many of these. Baby hair brushes. You can get baby hair brushes from Amazon. You can get them from anywhere. I have so many baby hair brushes because of my sponsorships. When I have wig sponsorships, you know, they all send gifts. Most, all of them send lashes. So I have a whole bunch of lashes that I cannot wear. But they also send like baby hair brushes, combs, rat tail combs, all types of stuff. And I have a whole bunch of these, but you can also get them off Amazon. They're really inexpensive for like $2 or get them from your local beauty supply store. I'll leave links for them down below. Some of them have the comb and the little tip for laying down your uh, lace on one side. And some of them just have the comb on one end little tip wash your baby hair brushes because mine are hard as a rock like i could hit somebody in the head right now and they fall out baby hair brushes are a must for laying down my hairline and also um doing the baby hairs must haves oh i just talked about rat tail combs i have is this the carbon one so this is the black ice carbon rat tail comb you can get a whole bunch of different types of rat tail comb combs but the carbon ones are for the chase method because you know how you're doing the chase method and you're like, you know, flat ironing the hair. I have melted my comb so many times and I like the carbon one because it doesn't melt the comb. It's made for the chase method. So get you a rat tail comb. You also need it to part your hair. So love this thing. I have so many rat tail combs, like so many of them because they come as gifts. But this is the one I purchased for my local beauty supply store and I'll leave a link for one down below. I don't know if you can get these off Amazon, but get you one of these. One last thing for wig application, these alligator clips, clutch. You need it to like move your hair back, like clip it back. I had the gold ones for an aesthetic and I had the metal ones because they're necessary, but the gold ones were because they're cute. Sometimes I wanna match with what I got on, you know, with my Mr. T jewelry. I use these clips because you just need them. You need a clip. So we did all of our wig application tools. Now let's go ahead and get into hairline because once you put on the wig, it's time to get this hairline together. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get our hairlines right. Look at that, that hairline look, oh, it's a little wee bit shiny. <laughs> let's get, let's go before this gets dark because oh my God. Let's get into our hairline, how we flatten our hairline. One of the most important steps when making it look like this wig is growing out of your scalp and not making it look like you just got electrocuted or you just rolled up out of bed. For me, I use a couple products to flatten my hairline. One thing I love to use, especially on my straight hair, is the ZLA Flattening Souffle. This is not from Amazon, but you can get some sort of flattening souffle or mousse or something like that. But this is a moisture rich wig shaper mousse. So basically I put it on the hairline, let the hair dry, and then I flatten it with a hot comb. It redirects the hair backwards and it also flattens it super flat so it looks like it's growing out of your scalp. You combine that with bleaching the knots and plucking, girl, you just got a whole new scalp, okay? You're a whole new girl. It flattens it. Put this on while the wig is wet, let the wig dry, and then flatten it with a hot comb. Girl, baby, it's flat, it looks good. I'm telling you it looks good, try it out. So I also like to use a wax product I didn't used to be a wax stick girl until, you know, I was influenced by the other girl that was using wax sticks. This is the ZLA Hairline Master Wax Stick. I love using this on my curly hair, and I also like using it in the part and sometimes up in here on my wig. Up in here just to flatten the hair. I love the wax stick because it flattens the hair, but it also allows you to have like movement. I'll use the wax stick and I'll use it like in the part or sometimes in the front and sometimes back here on my straight hair. Let me show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It's like a big old chapstick. Put the wax stick on and then I'll follow it up with a hot comb. This is another hairline product. I'll take the hot comb and I'll bring it in there and then I'll flatten it out. Girl, yes, everything. Now this hot comb is the Andis hot comb. 
I've had this for years. It works. I bought another hot comb and she broke within three days. Girl, she just conked out on me. She was tired, she clocked out. I love this Andis hot comb. It does not get super duper hot, but it does the job. It has a temperature dial on here and it has this little stand thing. So it works well. I love using it. She ain't never let me down. I've been using it for years. So, and I think it was on like 20 bucks from Walmart, but you can also get it off Amazon as well. They have some, like a second edition of this. I think it's black that gets a little bit hotter, hotter and it has better reviews. So I'll probably leave that one down below, but that's not the one I'm using. But this one does everything I need it to do. So let's go ahead and get into curly hair products. I have some honorable mentions for curly hair products. I only use two products for my curly hair wigs. Curly hair products is really easy to get wrapped up in products. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted some tried and true products and I found it. One of my favorite products on hand, and I actually need to go to the store like today and pick some up. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Baby. For most of my curly wigs, it does a fantastic job. I don't use it on my natural hair, so I wonder if it will work. But for like, for the looser curls, this does a really, really good job. I love using this stuff. I may, if it has like a tighter coil and it needs more of a cream base, I will add some of my Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream on top of it. Uh, for my curly textured wigs, this stuff is bomb. It moisturizes the hair, it adds the water base, and it allows the hair to kind of like fluff up. It doesn't weigh it down. Like really, this stuff is tried and true. I love it. And when I combine it with this girl, this is the Evolve 572 brush. I've talked about her every single year. I've had this for years and I think I've been using this since like 2018, 2019. And it's 2022, girl. This is the same brush. Not a tooth has come out. Has a tooth come out? Not a tooth has come out. It works really, really well. It's a wooden brush. I wash it. It still looks clean. Like there's some hair in there cause I just used it. Don't mind that, but still it's an amazing brush. And it was only like six or seven dollars. It's almost like a Denman brush without the Denman price because Denman, the Denman girls be giving us the Denman prices and I'm trying to give, you know, give me a little discount, son. So I like to use the Evolve 572 brush. I love it, love it for my curly wigs. Really does clump up the hair and I like using it on my scalp as well. Like if I'm in the shower, these bristles, you put it on your scalp, girl, I just got a chill down my spine. I'm in love with this combination right here. This Cantu Curl Activating Cream, I like it, but I'm a little bit more cautious with Cantu because I think it broke my forehead out in 2020. 20, yeah, in 2020, so I try and be careful with that. I don't know, I try and use her sparingly, but it does do a great job on the hair. I just may be allergic to it, so. Our last and final products are our hair tools. Y'all know. I am a hair tool girl because I don't know how to style hair on my own. So I'm always looking for the magic tool that's gonna make things easier for me. There are the girlies that can take a barrel, like an iron and just curl hair with a flick of the wrist. Just bow, 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 that ain't me. My wrist just don't be twirling like that. Like the girls be twirling and curl, girl, no, no ma'am. I have a few hot tools that I love and some of them are like more investment tools and others are more affordable. I'll try and hit y'all with, with the twofer. Let's go ahead and start with our blow dryers. The blow dryer that I love is my Revlon blow dryer. It is a standard blow dryer, but I love her cause she was only 15 Zoilas from the local Target. I know y'all like to say Target. I used to work there as Target girl. People would say Target and I'm like, girl, it is not that fancy here. I still get paid $8 an hour. So what are we talking about? Target is for the girls that get paid more than that. First of all, Target has great hair tools, but this is the Revlon blow dryer right here. You see her? Yes, it was only $15. I think I got it on sale, but you can also get it on Amazon. It came with a diffuser. I always thought diffusers and stuff were really, really expensive. Like it was out of my budget. So I never really had a diffuser for, cur for my own curly hair or for curly wigs. But this combination was so affordable and I love it and the blow dryer works really, really well. It has three settings. It has cool, warm, and hot. It also has the super cold and the turbo button and it also has low and high. That's all you need for a blow dryer. And I love that it has a diffuser because I can use it for my curly wigs. I can use it for my wig dryer head. I can use it for drying my hairline. I can use it for so many things and it was affordable. So shout out to Revlon, love it. <clears throat> This is the Revlon section of the video because I got more Revlon stuff. I also have my 
Revlon blow dryer. Y'all have seen her before. This is the Revlon 1200 watt Ionic blow dryer. I love using this for my hairline. This blow dryer has different attachments and I love that. So this attachment is perfect for just drying the hairline. Boom. Take this off. It has two other attachments and I use it. Oh girl, it's hair all over it. Do y'all see that? That is a mess and a half. But it has two other attachments and this is for like round brushing and blow drying. I love using that as well. I used it on this wig a while ago, but it does a great job with like round brushing and blow drying hair. So you can add these attachments to it as well and blow dry. I love a girl that can do both. And this is one of those girls. Yes, wifey material. I love this thing. Now let's go into the more expensive girl. So this is the Revlon girly right here. This is the Revlon One Step. Now I saw the other side of the YouTube, the blow dryer community. So this is the Revlon One Step. It's similar to the last Revlon with the other attachments, except this one's better. She's the big kahuna. This is a blow dryer that you can use to straighten your hair or do like that blow dry sort of look. I haven't got the flick of the wrist right, but if I want to straighten my wig or like blow dry some of the waves or something out of my straight wig, I can use this without having to do like brush and blow dry. Girl, I'm not trying to do that. I spent like 60 or $70 on it. That was a little bit high for me, but it was worth it. I still use it. I don't use it as much as I used to because I, I'm kind of like a child with toys. I will use something and use something and use something, find something new and then go use that. So I still love it. It is a must have tool for blow drying and getting like texture out of some of my like straighter, wavier wigs if I'm straightening the hair. Love this. For straighteners, I'm gonna go from low to high. So I've talked about the straightener year after year, but this straightener is a great, straightener i don't use her as much because i have my more expensive one that's my new toy but i've had this one for years this remington flat iron it is bomb it is super affordable i got mine from walmart but you can get it from amazon i think it's like 17 to 20 dollars bomb straightens hair like a dream and it lasts for a long time it straightens hair well if you're more like on a budget looking for a good straightener this one has a great reviews on Amazon. And when I look at the reviews and people agree with me, I know I'm not crazy. This one I've had for years and years and years. I think the model has changed a little bit. It looks different, but it's about the same. Like it's the same sort of product, but I love this thing. I'm sorry, I had to turn on the light. Is it look weird? The light is gonna change. Okay, I'm sorry. So this girl was gifted to me for a, not exactly a sponsorship, but for like a mention. And I'm so happy I have her. This is a T3 Smart Iron. I didn't even want to use her because I was like, who? I think this one's like, she in the hundreds, like mid 150s or something like that. This is a T3 Smart Iron. I love this Smart Iron. It has no buttons. It's a touch screen. Like it's unnecessary technology, but as far as like what, what the necessity is, actually straightening hair, this girl is bomb. It straightens hair like a dream. It's really, really smooth. It doesn't really like damage hair. Like you can set this curling iron for hair color, hair density, hair damp, all that type of stuff. You can set this curling iron up for your sort of hair type. I love that. So I love this flat iron. It works really well and she is sturdy. Like you can feel the difference. Would I pay for it? No because I don't be using it on my own hair. So no, I wouldn't pay for it. But am I happy I have it? Yes. And if you have the quaint to spend like a little bit more money on a flat iron, I would recommend this one. T3, you know, they're, they're the flat iron girlies. I need to turn on this light too. The lighting in here is just work. It's weird. When we are using heat on our hair, of course we have to have a heat protector. This is the heat protector I use all the time. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant. It's like a spray heat protectant. I've had it for years and I still have been using it. It smells really, good, really good. And it does a great job of protecting my wigs. I mean, I love that it smells good. Do I really know how good it is? No, but it's been lasting me forever and it smells good. And I feel like it'd be protecting my wigs. Y'all tell me what your reviews are on this. I don't be using this on my natural hair though. I don't. This is just a wig product and I love how long it lasted and it smells good. So let's get into our curlers. These are like the second part of our hot tools. Our curlers, I'm gonna close this, these lines. I've been moving around a lot. Am I getting on your nerves? I've just gotten into like really gotten into curling 
and rollers and stuff like that. I've told y'all about her before. I love this curler. I don't use her as much, but it does a great job with curling hair. This is the Conair. I think it's a one and a half inch curler. First of all, she's cute. She's rose gold and white. I bought her because she was cute. I mean, I don't, I don't want to lie to y'all, but I bought her because she was cute and I got her off Amazon. I think it was a super affordable price and it does a great job with curling hair. Conair does a great job with their um, hair curling products. The only thing I don't like is that the buttons are right here and I kept pressing it when I'm twisting the curling iron. And I love how this plastic end allows me to like go like this when I'm curling without burning myself. So I like it. I think it's a really good product. What do y'all think? I love this. If you tried this one, let me know down below. I didn't know how necessary this was, but these ones, this little teeny tiny curler, I have been using this for my V part wig. So if I do it like a curly V part wig, my hair doesn't match like the loose curly V part wigs. Like if it's kinky curly, then I can make it work. But like the loose curly, no ma'am. So if I don't wanna do like the finger coiling method to make my hair blend into the V part or U part wigs, with the finger coiling method, I just pre-stretch my hair, use a cream base product. I put it on my hair and then I finger coil it. But if I can't do that, I'll use this. And this is the Red by Kiss curling iron. I'll just curl my natural hair and blend it into the wig. Yes, I love that. I love having this on hand because it's clutch. It's clutch. Even if you want to like curl some little pieces on your wig, it's clutch just to have one of these. And I think I got this from the local beauty supply store. You can get it from Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but I'll leave a link for it down below. Next, let's go ahead and get into curlers, rollers. I had these Remington hot rollers. I love these. I feel like a rich housewife when I use these. These are hot rollers. So basically these rollers get hot, but they don't get like so hot that you can't touch them, but they are pretty hot when you touch them. And basically they heat up in this little contraption. You open this up and then you pull out the roller and then you attach it to your head. It comes in two sizes. So they have the smaller ones and the larger ones. This was a pretty affordable set too. But they have their smaller ones and their larger ones. They have two roller sizes and you take the clip off and you just roll this into your hair. And this is like more like a velvety sort of texture, very soft velvet texture. So it holds on to the warmth. And once you're done curling your hair, you let it sit for maybe five to 10 minutes, let the hair down. You have gorgeous curls I'm t and they stay forever because your hair is not super hot and the hair cools in the hot rollers. I think this only works for like mid-length hair. I've used it for long hair and it's a little bit more difficult because these rollers are small, but I'm in love with hot rollers. If I were to be getting ready one day, throwing up some makeup or something like that and had a little bit more time, I use a hot roller and be done. Love this. So my next favorite rollers are a gift from the Lord above, these things, these, uh, what do they call these? Satin, satin like rope rollers. <sighs> I've been using these lately. I've been wearing my wigs like after I finish my videos. Usually I take them off immediately, but I haven't been feeling like doing that lately. So tonight I'm going to be using these. I have a set of three. These are perfect for traveling. So basically with satin rollers, these are supposed to be worn for like a couple of hours or overnight. And what I do with my satin rollers is before I go to bed, I put the satin roller here. You're supposed to put a hair clip right here and then I just wrap. I take my hair and I wrap it around all the way till you get to the end. And once you do that and you let it sit, I promise you your hair is going to love you. The next day the curls are gorgeous. They're bouncy. They stay. And it's perfect for like kinky straight wigs because kinky straight wigs don't really hold a curl unless you add product to it. If you add a little bit of water, you talk about the curls are gonna be gorgeous the next day. So you can do it dry or wet, 10% wet, not like wet, wet, just a little bit wet. The curls will be gorgeous. You will thank me later. I got these off of Amazon a while ago. I know some girls just do like the ends, but if you want this sort of like curly look do it from the top to the bottom and i love these satin rollers because once you roll the hair it has like these little snaps on it so you go like this 
you wrap it around, you roll the hair around it, and then you clip it up here. So your hair is tucked away. Oh, this is actually like a cute little headband. But basically, like you're tucking your hair away. So you don't have to like, when you're sleeping, you don't have to worry about what to do with those tail ends. You just wake up and you're cute in the morning. I love using these satin rollers. Perfect for travel. If you're wearing a wig or a unit or you got tape ins or something like that, use this, I promise you. You do it correctly, you'll wake up next day giving bombshell curls. I love this. Remember I told you I ain't got no flick of the wrist? This girl right here, this is a cheese spinning curl. This is an automatic curler. It automatically curls your hair for you. It curls it backwards, it curls it forwards. You turn it on, it heats up to the temperature you want. It tells you how long to hold the curl. You let the curl out, boom. You have a beautiful curl. I wanna show y'all what it looks like right now. Turn her on. She's heating up to 410 degrees. It tells you she communicates, okay? And I love that about her. You can do a 19 second hold. You can do like a nine second hold. You can do shorter holds. I always do a long hold. You see on the front, you can go, there's one going, two arrows going two ways. So if I'm curling and I want the curls to go away from the face, which is usually how I like them, I'll press this way and it'll spin that way. Or I'll press the other way. Okay, let me show you how it works real quick. I've put too much heat on this hair today, but see? I'm gonna hold it for 19 seconds. Oh girl, my lace is just lacing, ain't she? Oh, it's hot too. Look at that curl. I don't need this curl to stay, so I'm gonna go ahead and comb her out real quick. But look at that. It is such a beautiful, I wanna do the same thing to this side. I want it to be even. I think I have a problem. Such a clutch tool. I think this one cost like 70 something dollars from Target, but it was worth it. I love how it makes my wigs look. I love how effortless it is. And for people that are novices, it's worth the investment because it saves you time and effort. And that's what I love, okay? I'm here for saving time and effort. That's what we do around here. In order to set those curls, I love this product. This is the Pantene. Pantene, call me, okay? Cause I just talked about y'all a couple times. I love the Pantene air spray. This is the alcohol free hairspray. It is, I have the number three, breathable flex, flexible hole. In order to hold those curls all night, but you want them to be like soft. I love this air spray because it smells like a salon. It smells so, oh my God, it smells so good. It's light, it doesn't make the hair crunchy and it gives like the hold that you want. I love using this stuff. I like to have it on hand. I don't use it that much when I do. I am in love. It smells so, so, so good. And it's accessible. I mean, like you can get it from Target. I think you can get it from anywhere, so. That's everything, let me turn her off. I mean, those are all of my favorite products, your must-haves for 2022, my favorites from 2021. So if y'all like these products, please let me know. If you have any additions or additional stuff to add to these products, please let me know down below. I'll probably, if I forgot anything, I'll add it. I don't think I did, but if I forgot anything, I'll leave it in the description box below. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all had fun with me chatting and whatnot. I really do appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for rocking with me in the year 2021. Now we're in 2022. The first day of 2022 is always Black History Month. So happy Black History Month to you. I hope your year in 2022 is starting off so well. You deserve all the great things that the world can offer. Get your rest, drink your water and your wine because balance. And that's it. If y'all have anything to add to my list, please let me know. This was so much fun. If y'all want more chatty videos, please leave them down below because I do want to chat with y'all more, but I don't know if y'all care. Like you can get personal. You know, I'm vulnerable and whatnot. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Thank you for being here and supporting me. So grateful for each and every one of you. And every time I think about it, I could cry. Y'all see my top lip a trembling? <laughs> let me get up out of here and have a glass of wine. Anyway, I love y'all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.